Okay, here is my maze solving uh, simulation. And uh, basically what you have here is a grid where a user can draw um, a maze. Then down here um, is a bar which will display the um, path as the robot, the virtual robot is running. And that path is constantly being optimized. Um, down here is a solve button, so when you're done building your maze, you hit that to actually um, run the virtual robot through it. Um, then there's a display optimize path button. You click that after the robot is done running through the maze the first time using the left hand on the wall technique. And when you click this button, the robot will, virtual robot will run, run through it. Um, it won't go down any dead end, so it will just run the optimized path. Then you have the reset button to reset it all, and uh, you can play with it again. And uh, then you have the robot speed in squares a second, so this is how many squares a second the virtual robot will actually be traveling. I'm going to go ahead and set that to um, 6. Okay. So now I'm going to draw a maze, just left clicking. And let's say you um, mess up, you can simply click a black square again and it goes away. Okay, so I have a little maze here, and now I have to choose a beginning and an end. To choose a beginning, right click on a black square, and you can see it turns green. Um, if you mess up, you can right click again, and it goes away. Um, to choose a end, right click on an empty square, like so. Again, if you mess up, right click and it goes away. Okay, and now I'm going to click the solve button and you will see it solve the maze. So you can see the virtual robot's driving around using the left hand on the wall technique to solve the maze and it leaves behind the blue path to show where it has gone. Okay, so it solved the maze and down here you can see well, you can see I clicked the solve button so it's red and you can see the optimized path so that's the number of that's the sequence of turns or um, straights it needs to take in order to um, get to the end without going down in dead ends. Uh, I have a tutorial based on this if you don't understand how the optimization works or what these letters mean you can read that. So now I click the display optimized path and you'll see the robot run just the optimized path. So I'm going to click that now and as you see the green is now just the optimized path. So we went from the blue to the green. And that's the basic operation. I hope this uh, is fun or is educational. You can hit the reset button and everything gets reset. The maze goes away. The speed's still the same though. And uh, you can do it again. So. Uh, let me uh, tell you a few things that you can't do. Like I said before, um, no boxed in areas like that. Uh, it's pretty obvious. Um, don't put the end right off of a turn like that. Um, it needs to be on 
at least the end of one black square. And, uh, and the outside doesn't work right now. So don't build the maze on the outside edges, as you can see. Don't put anything like I just did here or there or on the bottom. Just stay away from the outside rows and columns, and uh, you should be good. So there might be other things. I mean, if you find anything wrong with it, email me or message me and tell me. Uh, this is on my website, PatrickMcKayMakes.com. Thanks.